Welcome back, I'm Mr. Felstrom and this is the Geometry Screencast. Our episode today is dealing with similar triangles. I have uh, three sample problems that we're going to go over. The first one is solving a similar triangle, the missing sides. Uh, here we have uh, two similar triangles. This is the triangle within a triangle, and I know they're similar because of the reflexive angle right up here and the two congruent angles of 60 degrees. Because triangles are similar, their sides are proportional. And so what I want to do is set up a proportion for finding the missing pieces. Uh, notice that although the side is 15, the larger triangle has a whole side length of 15 plus 10, which is 25. And likewise on the other side, the short side uh, is 12 for the small triangle, and the corresponding side for the large triangle x plus 12. So when I set up a proportion, I'm going to pick the x plus 12 side first, and the corresponding part in the smaller triangle is 12. Then I got to go back to the large triangle and find another part, which is 25. That's again the whole side. And the corresponding part in the small triangle is 15. When I cross multiply, I get 15x plus 180 equals 300. Subtracting 180 from both sides, I get 15x equals 120. And then dividing by 15, I get x equals 8. To find the y part, uh, y and 30 are corresponding, so I'm going to set up those as a proportion, y over 30. And I'll use the same proportion from the first uh, one, uh, 15 over 25. This is 15 over 25 instead of 25 over 15 because the y is a piece of the small triangle. So I need to make sure and use the corresponding small triangle part on top. Cross multiplying, I get 25y equals 450. Dividing by 25 equals 18. So y is 18. Uh, as I scroll down here to benchmark number 27, similarity statements, this is to determine if the triangles are similar and if they are to write a similarity statement and give the reason. Uh, in our first example, we are given that AB is parallel to CD, and that's all we know. Uh, from this, because they are parallel, we have angle A and angle C being alternate interiors. We also have the vertical angles right here, E. Uh, AEB and DEC angles congruent, so they're vertical. So that right there is enough to prove that these two triangles are uh, congruent by, excuse me, similar by angle angle similarity. But I need to write the similarity statement uh, because angle A is listed first in the upper triangle, that corresponding angle is going to be angle C. So that needs to be listed first uh, for my similarity statement. E is next and followed by B finally. So it's B is up here and the corresponding angle is D down on the smaller triangle. Next example I have uh, two triangles, uh, another with triangle within a triangle. And we can see that C and D are both midpoints because they are splitting segments B, E into two equal parts, 7 and 7. And segment AE into two equal parts of 4 and 4. That's giving me uh, two side lengths, um, 7 uh, for the small side, 14 for the large side, 4 for the small side, and 8 for the large side. Those uh, both have a ratio of 1 to 2. So there's two uh, proportional sides, and angle E is a reflexive angle shared by both the small triangle DCE and the large triangle ABE. And so we have side angle side as the reason. When I write my statement, I come with angle A first, so the corresponding angle A would be angle D. E is second, so E again is second here. And angle B with the corresponding angle C and the uh, large triangle to the small triangle. And there we go. Order does matter, so be very careful with that. Our final uh, problem benchmark is benchmark 28. It's the similarity proof. I'm just using the example up here, so I'll put it in the statement and reason form 
to prove that these two triangles are similar given that AB is parallel to CD. Well, I already know my first step, AB is parallel to CD, that's a given. And because AB is parallel to CD, that makes alternate interior angles congruent. So angle A is congruent to angle C, the alternate interior angles. And also angle B and D are congruent, because uh, they are also alternate interior angles. And that right there is enough to show that uh, triangles ABE is similar to triangle CDE by angle-angle similarity. Uh, you can use a different angle instead of uh, A and C or B and D. Uh, you can use angle AEB and ang is congruent to angle DEC. Those are the vertical angles, but make sure you do use the three-letter name for that, and that would also still be angle-angle similarity because you only need to show that two angles are congruent to two angles in another. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.